Sometimes you need somebody that knows and care and love you guys and love Penny. I love her like she's mom. Aww, okay? That's awesome. Now, we're going to talk some shop. I'm going to do that later, okay? What are we going to talk about? Now that Penny's getting better, let's just talk about baby number two, Terry and Joan, a serious note. I love that Olivia is bringing up baby number two. No, 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 no. I'm not paying Olivia to, like, chime in on our baby-making activities. What is your take on baby number two? Penny, she's still an infant. Shouldn't we wait till she's a toddler? I want a big family. We have four dogs. They eat a lot. I feel like you're not taking this baby seriously as a little person. The older my body gets, the harder that it's going to be. I have an irregular S shape to my spine, and because of this, it makes it super painful to do things like standing and holding Penny. And the doctors told me that I will probably need surgery. You should maybe see a doctor too. You're the one that has to carry the baby in nine months. Can you agree that we can discuss having a baby after we both get the clean bill of health? I can agree to that. Game plan. Checking out my body, checking out your body. Agreed. Do you think that it's a bad idea to try again? We got a lot to talk about. I know. Say uh, you had another baby that had Acon. Mm -hmm. How likely would it be that that baby would have Ex surgery exactly. or problems? Or... That's where I'm kind of coming in. I can I give you another option, which is the potential to do in vitro fertilization. Absolutely love about you is any obstacle our kid is going to have to face, you're always like, Pfft. So let's go for it. Let's forget all the what ifs and have baby number two. I think it's important we get you checked out. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole nother. Ugh. You're gonna be raising two kids plus putting on my socks for me. For better or for worse. This moment that Bourne is handing me off is such a sweet moment that I finally get to commit myself to the man that I love more than any other man in this world. I've always wanted to marry you.